All right. Thanks, everybody, for attending our class this morning on migrating from timesheets on the client-based uh, platform of LoadTrek to the web-based platform of LoadTrek. What you're going to do is go to the web-based version at web.loadtrek.net, put in your company and personal credentials, click on login. You're gonna go from the dashboard all the way down to the left column, all the way to the bottom for payroll, click on payroll. And what you wanna do is take a look at, um, as far as the date range, you want to see uh, for the timesheets. We're just going to look at today's timesheets. So 10 6, 10 6, 10 6. Uh, we want to just look at all drivers. Uh, one other thing you might want to take a look at here is for settings. Those are going to be for the user settings. And this will look familiar. So your user settings, this can be changed by as far as how you want to look at the timesheets. Some of you uh, pay the route-based payroll, which means probably hourly, um, based on the uh, start and end time um, for that driver, or some of you do the DOT-based uh, payroll, uh, which then is also based on start and end time, um, but takes other things into account, and that's the company decision. Uh, other options, obviously you wanna take a look and make sure um, that it matches what you want to look at. If you already have this set up in client, uh, those settings will transfer uh, over to the web-based. Company settings, um, there should be only one uh, administrator at your location that should have access to change the company settings. Um, and what that determines is how the drivers will see their timesheets if they were to look into the driver portal uh, and also how the timesheets will print. Uh, so, and again, if that's already been set up in client, then it then also is going to transfer over to the web-based. So I'm just going to click on cancel to get out of here. Um, and all you would then need to do is uh, go to each driver. Um, you see here it's, it's separated very similar to how it's separated in client. Uh, we have the contract or customer. We have the hours. Uh, the bench time, and then what the plan time should be. Uh, we've got exceptions in the center. We then have the miles actual, uh, the bench miles, and then what the planned miles should be. Uh, the stop time as far as how much time was planned to be spent at each stop location. Um, this is health and welfare, and then what the payroll rate is. As far as exceptions are concerned, it might be a little bit easier to enter them here in web-based. You just go over to the right side of the screen where you see the exclamation points and you would enter the exception wherever uh, you would like it to be under you know, the specific customer name. You click on it on the ex exclamation point, uh, put in the exception type that you want it to be what the time value is or dollar value is, change it from suggested um, to validated or applied depending on your company rules, and then just click save. And then now you see here, we've got the uh, exception in here, operations review, 25 uh, set, um, hundredths, and that is validated and that will then appear on the payroll report. Um, for your accounting department to go ahead and process. And really that's all there is to the migration to time web seats. And I am going to go ahead and stop the uh, recording right now.